Hi, I'm Vanessa Mayti Dukot, BSN 201, and today I'm going to show you the fifth and the last learning outcomes in the subject Nursing Informatics, which is managing clients using an electronic medical record. So what is electronic medical record? Electronic medical record is the digital version of all the information that you can find in a provider's paper chart such as the medical history, medication, doctor's note, immunization dates, and such. EMR is more than a replacement for um, paper records because it allows effective and efficient communication and coordination between the members of the healthcare system for better quality health care. To better demonstrate how to use an electronic medical record, I'm going to use OpenMRS to show you how to do it. And also here is an example of case scenario using the electronic medical record. Here as you can see, we have to first log in with a specified password to keep our client's privacy as it is the right of client to confidentiality. Next, we have to choose location for this session and we will choose inpatient ward. And now we have to first uh, register the patient. Good morning, ma'am. I am Nurse Vanessa and I'll be your nurse for today. So what we are going to do today is I'm going to ask you a few questions. And you have to answer it based on the paper that has been given to you earlier in the front desk. First, uh, ask ko lang po kung ano name niyo. Vanessa, tubundukot po. October 6, 1999. Um, saan po kayo nakatira? Zone 5, Barangay Agopalo, West Telo, Pao Nueva, Ecija. Um, any active number po ninyo na pwede po namin makontak in any case? Kasama niyong pumunta dito, um, sabihin niyo na lang po para siya po yung gagawin natin contact person po. Thank you po. Joseph Dukot po tatay ko. So now after we put all the basic data information of the patient and register it, we can now um, do the initial action which is to capture the vital signs. One sixty po. Weight po. Fifty po. Temperature. Thirty six point six po. Pulse rate po. Eighty po. Respiratory rate po. Eighteen po. Ano po ang blood pressure niya? One ten over ninety po. Okay. Um, pulse oximeter niya po. Ninety eight po. Now that we are done with the vital signs, we can now go to the visit note wherein we can input the diagnosis for the client's complaint as well as the clinical note that contains the assessment, diagnosis, planning, intervention, and the evaluation. For this example case scenario, the initial diagnosis will be bacterial diarrhea and here is the assessment with the subjective and up objective cues. As I've said, the diagnosis is diarrhea related to presence of toxins. Next is the planning and the intervention. And the last is the evaluation. And now we have the patient's record. If ever the patient will revisit, we can just find the name of the patient on the records and do the next step. We should always log out to keep the patient's privacy.